So just like in version one, there's a save pattern list. Um, there's a couple more examples. Uh, the storage is much more efficient, so you can store uh, you know over a hundred patterns uh, in Pixel Blaze. Um, I'm going to jump in and just quickly edit Blink Fade. The first thing you'll notice is it's a totally new editor, syntax highlighting, uh, all kinds of new language features. We've got arrays, uh, functions, loops, conditionals, all kinds of stuff. Uh, it's also quite a bit faster. Uh, you'll see this pattern is running at over 400 frames a second. I want to show you some of the features that you'll have while writing patterns. So there's a global called pixel count. This is the total number of pixels in your strip. Uh, you have access to arrays up to about 3k elements and um, you have a before render function that's called um, before each animation frame giving you a high precision delta in milliseconds and this number is, is as resolution goes down to 6.5 nanoseconds the render function is the same as the pixel expression in version one uh, so we calculate new hue saturation values and then call the hsv function to uh, send out the color for that pixel uh, just like in version one, this is all live editing, so I can go in here and change things. If I wanted to speed up the fade on those or slow it down, maybe, I can just type in new values here and they're updated live. There's also live syntax checking, so if I typo something, you know, maybe I miss a bracket or put in an extra curly brace somewhere or any of that kind of stuff, um, that shows up immediately. There's also uh, integrated runtime exception handling. so. For example, we have these arrays here, and if I access something that's outside of the bounds of that array, it'll let me know right here in the editor. So this is going to range from uh, zero through the, you know, one less than the pixel count. But if I add one to it, at the very tail end of it, it's going to basically blow up, and it's going to try to access an array that's outside of that, that range. And you can see here, it's telling me right in the editor that this is happening. Now this is way better than you know just having it crash and reset or something like that. Also new in version 2 is support for WS2812, also known as NeoPixels. So if I select this from the menu, this is actually driving out uh, NeoPixel data that supports uh, WS2011, 12, and 13s. Uh, 